In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to give you some tips on working with background images. If you're a PowerDirector 365 subscriber, you have hundreds of them that are now available that you can use in your project. Let's look at what some of them look like and then some possible applications. So to get there, I need to be in my media area on the upper left corner. And then I'm going to open up my side panel. I have a subcategory called background image. I'll click on that. And when I open it up, I see I have a host of subcategories for my background images. Let's widen this so you can see better what some of them are. The first is fabric, and we have a host of ones that fit in the fabric category. Some of them very nice, very detailed, very luxury. This next one is marble. We have different styles that are marble looking. And we have some one that are wood. Again, scores and scores of them. The next one is light and shadow. Rather interesting. Next one is greenery. Most of these look like they are photographs although some look like they're just sim simply created images. Then we have one called beige. Quite a few in that category. Wall. Here we have different kinds of walls. Again, we have some overlapping. This one does have shadows in it as well. And some bricks, some other texture. Some are photographs. We have a color gradients. We have sky. We have romantic. Mostly with uh, reds and pinks, it looks like. The next one is blue. Different tones of blue. Mostly on the light order. We have one called season. One called holidays. We have a subcategory called paper. Most of these look like these are simply designed images. Although a few are not. We have one called black, which is very interesting. Some nice textures and lighting effects there in the black category. You might find useful. Then we have movie. I'm not sure how these got into the movie category, but they look like some are amateurish and some are a little more useful. We have one called shelf, which is interesting. Again, some of these are designed images. Some of them look like they're photographic. Next one we have a sale. Then we have music festival. Podium, which is rather unusual. Aesthetic. Artistic. Fairy. Leaves and flowers, colorful, love, pattern, most of these look graphic, neon, retro, scenery, looks like it's mostly Europe, sport, and pride. So how do you take some of these and use them effectively in your projects? Let's look at a couple examples here. I'm going to start out with one called Podium. And all you have to do is click on any of these to download it, and then you can begin to use it. So let's take this one and click on it. It doesn't take any time at all, and I've downloaded it. And what I'm going to do is place it on track number one. So I'll simply drag and drop. And I'll put it here. I'll replace what was there before. Now I have this. Now one of the things to remember about these is every single image I showed you is 4096 by 4096. So what I see on my screen here in my 16 by 9 project is not the whole image but part of it. If I click on it, I can move it up and down. It doesn't really work to move it horizontally in a 16 by 9, but I can move it up and down. And when the two pink lines 
converge in the upper left corner. I'm at the very top of the image. Now I can move it left or right, but then I'm going to have some black area in my project and I don't want that. So that's the highest I can have this image. So my basic options here are to go up and down and decide how much of the bottom of the image do I want. I could, I could use it like this, I could use it like this, or I could make that disk go away completely. So you have some variations in what you want to do here. So let's leave it about like this. Now what do I want to do here? Well there's several options. I could put some text on top of it. Let's take this text I have and here I have, I dragged it over on the higher number track and I could use text here in order to showcase something with well, something nicer than simply a, a color board. What else could I do with that? Well let's take that text and move it out of the way and try something else. I'm going to go, go to my media room and let's get back to my regular media here and going to my media. Okay, here's what I have loaded. I'm going to change these to smaller. Let's take this image here and drag it and put it on a higher number track. And here I have basically an image I took of a set of speakers. I could try to put that on the podium, but you see that doesn't work very well because it's not a simple image. Now what I did was I took the same image, I went to Photo Director and I removed the background. Now in Power Director, you cannot remove a background of an image. You can remove a background if a person is there, or I found that sometimes it works with animals, but the background remover in Power Director does not remove everything but this. But in Photo Director, it does. So let's take this and delete it. And I worked on that, and I brought it in here. Let's make this on this track here. And now what I see I can do, I can take this, let's rotate it a bit. And I can showcase an object, a, a still image, a graphic image, on a, a podium or any other kind of background I want in Cyberlink Photo Director, combining the two. So that's what I can do with an image. Let's try a different background from our selection just, just to see what else we can find. I'm going to go back to my background image. Let's take a fabric one. That will give me more textures. And let's go with uh, something like this black. And then what I'll do is I'll drag it down into track number one. And this would be an example of using that kind of background for this particular image. Again, what I can do if I want to be a little more creative is I can click on the background image and with that highlighted I can move up and down to get the ripples in the fabric exactly the way I want them given the size of the image so I can make some modifications there. But it, it's just an interesting way to do that. Let's see how this works with video. I have several options when it comes to video. Let's take the image of this gal here and put this on a higher number track and we'll trim it to fit. And if I want the video of the gal to have that black background that I used, I can try to take that and I can remove the background of the video. Let's do that. So with this highlighted, I'm going to click on the edit button and then I'm going to do my background remover. I'll click on AI background remover and now you see it works. However, when I play it, you're going to see a little bit of, of activity around the edge of the image because this isn't the perfect image to use. But if you had a better image with a more defined area around the person, this is how you could use that background as well. Now it's a static background. The other way to use that, I'm going to just turn that off, is you can simply do a picture in picture. So I'll take the image drag it here and now we have a picture in picture where we're using the image and we're using the background behind it. Another way in which you could use this would be to use this with a combination of background and text or something else. Let's take another one for fun before we quit and try one more option. I'm going to click off my tools here, go back to my background images. Let's take this one here and download it really quickly. 
and then I'll do a replace. And here we have another one where we could use a picture in picture or any or a title or any combination of those that we so choose. And again, we can take that image that we have and, and control what part of it we're going to use for the background. And I, I'll just take a title really quick here. Go back to my titles and drag this one in, put it on another track. And we'll move the we'll move the image around, make it slightly smaller. And now we have an interesting combination of a background along with a title and other kinds of things so that there's a lot of variations you can use in using backgrounds that are now available in PowerDirector 365.